What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. If you don't know, some screenshots have leaked about Matt. I want to start by focusing on the franchise mode. And just to get this out of the way, not a lot has changed. This is the equivalent of putting a new phone case on your phone and then telling everyone it's a brand new phone because you changed the case. Understand that the user interface is one of the most simplistic things that a game designer or developer can go in and change Yet, everything here essentially stays the same from a game planning aspect. When you go and look at your things to do, the tree, which you navigate to get to the point where you're actually interacting within the game, is nearly identical. Now, I understand there's some thought process here that we don't normally see these leaks. This is beyond the beta because the beta did not have franchise. But there is some thought process that EA could have leaked these intentionally to naturally cause some uproar within the community and that hopefully they are working to address this as we speak because they would know, if nothing else, this is only going to add to continued frustration from the franchise gamer when they see essentially all you've changed is the color scheme going across the screen. I will say Aaron Rodgers does look a lot better visually in the game, but again, graphics are Madden's strong suit. We're not worried too much about graphics. We're worried about the actual game, not just the gameplay, but the franchise mode. Taking a look at how rosters are allocated differently or look different this year, okay. You know, again, if you're trying to mirror football, if you're trying to emulate and simulate football, these are things that are to be expected. The fact that we're just now getting full-blown specialist schemes in our depth chart is a change. It's an improvement, but it's also an expectation. When you add things that are supposed to be there, it's not really something that we can tangibly be sold. As other game designers and developers have said, you can't sell things that people expect to have in a game. You don't sell the start button, okay? This is EA selling the start button. So hopefully this is just a ruse. Hopefully they're going to come out and show us some real tangible improvement. But if not, it looks like this will be a very frustrating year for franchise gamers. With that said, appreciate you checking this out. And Xavier Rhodes, look at that. AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Go Colts. You know I will be back in the week with more commentary.